Hello everyone, my name is Andy Ng and welcome to lecture 1 of Remote Selling Success. Today let's look at what exactly is remote selling. I've been doing training and coaching since the year 2001. I've done many sales training and I myself have been doing sales since then. In fact, last year in the year 2019, I was awarded the top sales in a company competing with more than 1,000 people from Singapore, Malaysia, Taiwan, and China. I'm also the author of the world's first and only practical WeChat book in English called Practical WeChat Marketing 94 Ways. You can get this book in Amazon or from me directly. So today, I wish to give you some practical ideas that you can make money easily. So I'm like the God of Fortune to you. Because the world has already evolved, we have become very much dependent on digital, on computers to get things done. So many businesses are done remotely right now. So remote selling is a trend. So if you don't evolve with this, and if you are still doing sales in the old way, you become extinct like the dinosaurs. Look at the airlines. Why Warren Buffett lost 52 billion US dollars when he sold down all his airline stocks in March 2020? Because he thinks that the future of airlines is not there. Because people are now not traveling, they are using Zoom in place of business travels. In fact, people are doing business remotely. So if you are not doing business remotely, you will be out very soon. What exactly is remote selling? Remote selling is selling where the buying decision is made without meeting people physically. Notice the phrase buying decision. That means if I decide to buy without seeing you physically, I have bought remotely and you have sold me remotely. So if you look at this definition, you realize that most buying decisions are made remotely. In fact, most salespeople did not do any selling at all. They just merely fulfill orders. So for example, I saw the advertisements about iPhones and I went down to the shop to buy. The question is, the, did the salesperson at the iPhone shop sell the phone to me? No, the salesperson merely fulfilled my orders. I already make up my mind to buy iPhone. That means Apple has sold me remotely. This is the course content we're going to cover in remote selling and we're going to show you exactly how you can set up remote selling easily. The most powerful part of this course is how can you use Zoom and how can you use videos effectively. I hope that you can apply the course here and get many ideas as well. The important thing is this, ladies and gentlemen, let's not have mistaken beliefs about remote selling. Some people say, oh, it is not for me and it is too technical. Understand that humans have been selling remotely since the Stone Age times. How, are, how did we convey ideas in, in Buddhism, in Christianity, if not for remote selling? And some people say, remote selling is too technical. Understand that it is as simple as just a simple phone call. It is nothing technical at all. And some people think that you cannot close sales with remote selling. Understand that remote sales closing is happening all the time. I gave you the earlier example of the iPhone that actually they have been selling remotely very long time. And people feel that there's no personal touch. That's also not true because personal touch does not, it's about a feeling and you do not need a physical touch. Just ask those guys that have been falling in love through pen pals. They will tell you that you do not need a personal, physical touch to have personal touch. And remote selling can be very secure because there are many security measures. And ultimately, some people think that remote selling is a fact. I like to tell people that it is not a fact. Simply, COVID-19 forces us to accept remote selling as the new normal because COVID-19 simply introduced a concept that we cannot be too close physically to one another. At the end of the day, many salespeople, they either hate remote selling or love remote selling. I don't know about you. Do you love remote selling or do you hate it? People hate it because they feel threatened by remote selling. They are so used to the old ways of selling physically. I love remote selling because remote selling allows me to get rid of competitors and get closer to my customers anywhere, anytime. Even 
when you have a physical roadshow, you can still do remote selling. Understand that in the exhibition hall, in the roadshow, there's so many vendors competing for the business. But if I were to do remote selling, I can actually get close to my target audience. I, I'm actually getting rid of my competitors. That's why I love remote selling. Remote selling definitely has many advantages. Uh, we are already so used to buying things without physical meeting someone. That's right, we have bought things from Amazon, buy things uh, from the supermarket, we have done things like e-government form filling, and we order taxi through Uber. All these are remote buying. And more importantly is, who wants to risk their health by meeting salespeople physically? So understand that even if you want to meet people physically, you may have a challenge. So you have no choice but to do remote selling. So in short, if you don't sell remotely, you are out. 